Go here, making That's your own pie. Making your own, yeah, it's Big Mill's Kitchen. Yeah. Welcome to Big Mill's Kitchen. Right. Yeah, you can control the sauce all you want. A lot of people like to start from the center and work your way around. I like to just kind of throw it all in there. But, you know, normally three tablespoons will sit you pretty good on this nine inch uh, crust. Now, this is just a normal crust that you pick up at your local at your local grocer. We happen to, we happen to have an Italian, Italiano place here. Then pick it up there. Once you get it spread to your liking, you're ready to tap it off. Huh? So we got the uh, cooked bacon tapping. I always like bacon, pepperoni traditional. I'm going to take this pizza cheese from here, Jamie. Crack this open. And a lot of people, they don't know if they want to, you know, I like to show the ingredients, actually show what you're putting out on your pizza. A lot of people like to, you know, blanket all the toppings with cheese, but I personally like to show uh, the people, you know, what, what you're eating. You know, you kind of want to know what you're looking at. That's a good point, Jeremy. You're going to be putting it in your body, you know. I'm pretty liberal with my cheese. Well, without the cheese, but it's still we call pizza. You know, it's funny you say that. I mean, uh, just ask Domino's. They, they've been calling themselves pizza for 30-some years, and they barely put any cheese on their pizza. Yeah, it still tastes like cardboard. It's definitely the heart. Yeah, the other thing you know to think about when you're making pizza is you don't want to put so many of the toppings. You want to make sure you you don't have everything piled towards the middle because obviously everything's going to be cut towards the middle, and when the cheese is melted, everything has a tendency to compile towards the middle. So you want to make sure all your toppings are are spread up nice and evenly. And more than anything, you actually might want your toppings to be a little bit more thin in the middle than around the edges. Ouch, I just cut myself. Fuck. <laughs> for me. Oh yeah, cooked bacon, yeah. What do you think, Rofe? You're looking for some scraps, aren't you? You're thinking, man, when's the chubby guy gonna drop some of it? He normally does. Oh, yeah. Big Mill's Kitchen. Yeah, you can just interpretations. Where should they at? Yeah, the email address is very simple. I live in Toledo, so it's just Jeremy Miller Toledo at gmail.com. I'm all full of cooking tips, and I'd love to bring them into your kitchen as well. The sausage. This sausage. Brother, you need to start making up your pie. Yeah, I get to that. <laughs> throw yeah, all, I'll throw it all together. Yeah, I'll get to that. You don't worry about that, all right? You worry about making your pie. Yeah, that's right. The thing is, I need double cheese too. Yeah, well, yeah you, you gotta put some of it, just, some of it on yeah, there. Yeah, you gotta have some. That's right. Yeah, you can't just have it all bare. It's all over the place. That basically keeps yeah. it in there. I was just gonna say the cheese is gonna help bind. Yeah, bind the ingredients. This stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah, add a little more color to it. Oh yeah, banana peppers, yeah. <clears throat> I am a big fan of, oh shoot. Sophie almost got one there, babe. Almost got one. Big ass pie. Yep, this thing is gonna be uh, the real deal Holyfield. And uh, just a few cups of 
Bronies. I like nipples these size of women too, you know? <laughs> Areolas. A couple of these. Works out pretty yeah. good. Cakes and pies, cakes and pies. The tough part's gonna be transporting it over to the cooking tray, I think. Oh yeah. Three fifty. Three fifty for about ten minutes until the cheese melts. Free. Take your half the price. Put some money in there. Just use Julie in them. Yeah, well, you know, they're going to wilt down in the heat a little bit. And I think uh, this is definitely not a pizza that you're going to eat with your hands. It's definitely a fork variety. It's like a California pizza kitchen. So I'm going to transport it because I don't want the crust to get too screwed up here. time, feel free to make yourself a cocktail. 